Good afternoon, everybody. This is Ryan, and this is Terry Challenger versus Spencer and Conroy. Is it? I don't know. It still says Benji Buckley versus. I would say uh, Terry is at a slight advantage here, seeing as he plays on a Rassen at home. The odd times he does practice. Um, I haven't actually seen Spencer play a great deal, so interested to see how he gets on. Say hello as well, because I'm all by myself in here. I don't know how Chris Patient does it. I'm already gone mad. And there's lots of buttons, and I've been told not to press them. I can't guarantee anything. There's also some strange subtitles. <laughs> so Terry wins the lag. I'm expecting a feels like home break here. side beautiful good split anyway good split Dave Patterson Stuart Ramshaw how are you doing I shall be on here until my match gets called which could be any minute but until then hold on was that <laughs> I <laughs> think my match might have just been called. This could be the, the shortest lived commentary ever. No, no, I'm all right. I'm all right. He's left, uh, I think he's left the Watford gap there. No, he hasn't. First chance to Terry. And as long as the five ball, well of course the five ball goes, the four ball won't be there. This is a, this is a good chance, this. Good chance. Stuart Ramshaw, you're in Egypt. Oh, poor you. Poor you. You could be in sunny, rainy Telford, but you're in Egypt. Don't get too sunburnt. We all need to get some burnt. <laughs> right, we're off. Interesting to see what he plays. Are he's going to uh, drag with loads of side or come up and down? He could play the drag. Didn't hit it. Didn't hit it. Tricky little safety shot now. Has he got away with it? Could be worse, could be worse, but he's left it. If anyone's watching from GB9 and fancies coming in, you have a bit of banter, that would be lovely. Totally different than the outside tables, but they do play. It does play a bit more generous, lovely shot. Should be happy with that. Very happy with that. Just see if he's got any any angle on this, or he's just got a screw screw straight back for the seven ball in the same pocket. all she wrote for this rack. It should be anyway. Yeah, Terry, Terry won't be happy with that uh, with that drag shot he played. Didn't get into it at all. He'll hopefully watch this back and sorry, but it's true. Dearly 
wants this he wants this cue ball about an inch inch higher than uh, where the seven ball is at the minute. That'd be uh, that'd be spot on. We got two rails. That'll do. like uh, one nil to Spencer. Also got your surname wrong, Spencer Oliver. Sorry, Spencer. That's, uh, that's a <laughs> different Spencer I was thinking of. He's new to tour. He's on his third event now. His third event. I missed his second. I think he played the last event of last year. And I think this is Terry's 100th event. <laughs> so there we are, one nil up. See how he adapts to the break on the Rassen then. Very, very, very different. Those who haven't played in this tour, the Rassen is completely different conditions, completely different speed, rails, pockets, absolutely everything to the outside tables, Who, which uh, I'd, I'd, I'd challenge any top pro to come here and uh, I think they're guaranteeing a win at this event because they, they play super tight. Got the wing, didn't get the one, but... Is he going to get a shot? Ooh. Is there a gap past that five? Don't think there is. Don't think he's got a shot. I'd have to give you my insight on uh, the best safety shot to play, but it's not exactly my strong point. <laughs> so <laughs> don't expect any kind of expert opinion there. on anyway as a it says there's 24 people on let's uh, let's find out who's on and who's watching with us I think he played a cheeky little two-way shot I think he tried to bump the one onto the five to try and make it whilst getting the white side good effort but he's left a nice big gap for Terry there He's not scared of a bank. He's not scared of a bank on a Rassen. But he has he has left a thin snick here. Um, I play with Terry quite a lot um, whenever I'm around Bristol. And any any opportunity he's got for banks on this table, it's uh, he, he doesn't miss a lot. He doesn't miss a lot of them. So I was actually quite surprised to see him miss that one. try and check up, but it did try. So, good opportunity here now for Terry. So hopefully, hopefully he takes it this time. Go straight down on that. Hopefully he uh, saw the shot and felt confident on it. Looks like it. Doesn't look about when he's flowing. doing I'm back again Ziggy Rich Saunders did you in your game this isn't Rich Saunders but he did, I haven't played him so I don't know what you mean oh is he gone yes he's gone too far 
He's hooked himself behind the nine, I think. Oh, there is another. There is another screen. Oh, I could do it. I better not. There is another angle. I, I think you can actually get it's just a little dink aside. Yes, well done, well played. But um, I was got a, a tr tricky situation now. Yeah, what did you mean, Ziggy? I don't know what you meant. Terry will go half full full out for this. Three rails. Oh, way too thick. Sorry, who's in the commentary? This is Ryan, Ryan O'Neill, Ziggy. You've not heard me before. Um, well, it's been a while. Used to do a bit with Chris Patient. Oh, gazer. Um But uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm having having a little having a little play in here whilst I'm waiting for my game. Which I better check. I better check. I haven't been called. I'm going to be playing Jamie Clark next on table ten, and Kevin Rowles and Daniel Jones at two one. So I've got a bit of time. Trying to stick the white behind the white behind the nine here. Oh, he was, oh he went for it. I wasn't looking. Good pot. Is another good one now. Mr. Stevens. El Capitano. You getting on? Well, don't say hello then, Adam. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. How are you doing? He didn't even say hello. And he doesn't any talks to people when he's got a microphone yeah. in his hand. It's the only time to talk to someone, isn't it? Yeah. So you had a, a scare. Was it today? A 9-8? Yeah, yeah. yeah early on. And to be honest, Jazz, 2-1. Um, you had a good good lead in that, didn't you, as well? 6-2. I like throwing away a lead, me. Yeah, yeah, just 6-2 six, six up. And, and to be fair, he's, he's he's gone for timeout and he's come back and he's, he's played... He's played good. He, he, he got a bit lucky at 6 2. He snooked himself in the 8 and then kicked out of it and potted it. But, you know, he, he played all right. And then, at, you know, as I say, at 8 all, I missed a chance and he was in and he just had it off straight 8. And, I don't know. The arm just went, I suppose. You had it. You had it in the end, though. Well, yeah. I, I, so I did my best to miss <laughs> it. I, I, I want to miss the 8, but, you know. I did. A, I, I was 6 2 down against JJ Fall early. It took a timeout and uh, I, I ended up losing that one. I saw that was 8. I, I saw it was 8 8, and I, I had to go out and check, actually, because you were on at the same time as me, I think. That's right, yeah. And, um, missed yeah. A, I missed the 9 for the match at 8 7 up. Oh, no. It was great. I love when I do that. Right. This, this, Ryan. Is, this is Terry's bread and butter, this. Is. You've now given commentators curse right there. He's, he's still know. all right, but he's all right. He's not. He's not feeling he's not it. He's missing. not. He's complaining. He doesn't. I don't know if he's practiced enough or he's just not, not comfortable this weekend yet. He got to the losers qualifier. Yeah, yeah. I saw him. He, he won a nine eight as well, didn't he, against Michael? Oh, losers around five, wasn't it? Around five. I know he beat Michael nine eight, and Michael mm. looked like he was playing okay. And then, um, yeah, I kind of kept an eye on that's a good hit. He's off ball kiss. Oh, yeah, he'll take that little nudge. Oh, he'll take that all day long. Is even. Are you still using this board here for the two screens, or are you using all three OBS? No, we, we 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 use that as well. We do use that as well, but we've got some issues with some of the camera angles, so it's, um, we've got not particularly many to choose from at the moment. So, <laughs> screen one, yeah, screen, screen one two. or screen two. But I know um, Lewis is going to start looking into what works, what doesn't, when we pack out at the end of the weekend. What um, who have you got in the challenge then? I played one match already. Have you? Uh, yeah, I played um, Graham Hickman. Oh, you got it's Ryan. His first event. Ryan Coton. Ryan, Ryan Coton. I have, yes. So you, um, you gave yourself a prelim, the challenge. I didn't give myself anything. <laughs> Viv, Viv does the draws. <laughs> now to do with me. Yeah, but I did give myself a prelim. It was a pretty good game, actually. It was a good standard. And then, uh, you know, because I, because I do the, the, the races. Why does it now say Luke Hart, Ryan was it? Oh, that's my fault. He's just come in he's, here. He's, he's moved. He's, he's, he's moved walked, things around. Why has he done that? He just walked in here, messed everything up. Is he it's going? Easy, it's easily fixed. No, I forgot it was race to eight, and then I hit a golden break at seven six. <laughs> and it was in the middle pocket, directly behind where he was you sitting. Hit, you hit a golden break to win the match. Yeah, you yeah, in the middle bag as well. So it was not like the rack was dodgy. It, something was obviously kissed it in. Kicked it in. Um, yeah, and I'd forgotten it was race to eight. So even worse, I've got the balls out of the pocket, and he's come to me with his hand outstretched. You were uh, like, yeah, you, 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 you felt true, felt bad about that. 
No, I did. <laughs> you, you don't want to win like that. I'd rather just to clear it up. But I have to say, I'm, I, for those who don't know, obviously, what, um, the details of what Melling did yesterday were pretty... So pretty I, I saw something about that on his Facebook. Was that was against... The, 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 against the, and, the, and the post and Andy Worthington. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was possibly the worst post at explaining what, I, what he actually did. So I, from what I gather... He he's down on the shot. He's probably confusing the seven and the six. I yeah, guess. So, there's so there's he's gone for the. He's, he's aiming, lining up for the seven. He's then heard someone in the crowd meant to say he's going. Going, for, he's the going for the wrong ball. So he's then got up and tapped the white to because he would have yeah. shot the seven. He said, "I'm, I'm, I'm." And he couldn't I'm, take I'm, it. I was just about to play the shot. I don't, I don't want to cheat to win. And gave a, gave a professional foul away and gave gave Andy ball in hand at Hill Hill as well. That's nice. That's a great that's a shot. Great shot, man. Great shot. That's that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, That's you can't. You got to commend stuff like that. Many, really, there's not no, many no. players, and and to be honest, not many players that would think to do it. You know, if 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 you were down on the wrong shot, you know, no disrespect for anyone who wouldn't do it because yeah, yeah, of course. You think, yeah, oh, yeah. Blah, it's just a mistake, but he he took that as well, almost cheating to win, and he didn't yeah, want to. I had one. I had one similar against Ashik a few few events back, and he'd done the same thing. He'd got down to line up the seven, and I was sitting in the corner, and I saw it, and I told him, yeah. Um, and I didn't think that you know because I don't want to. I don't want him to shoot the wrong no. ball, particularly. Uh, it was close. It was six all maybe or something like that. Yeah. And he got down and I think he cleared the rack up. You know, fair enough. But I didn't think uh, you know I, uh, I wasn't thinking that he no. was cheating because I told him. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you didn't I, tell him, you yeah. would feel like you were the yeah. You were do the you know one. what I mean? Yeah. So, um, but you know, everybody feels different. No, I've never seen. I've never seen. I've never seen anything like it, especially Hill Hill against the you know Andy Worthington's no no pushover is he? he's a hell of a player oh absolutely so it must have been a must have been a tense old match but uh, right Terry for um should be an absolute dolly for Terry this should be an absolute dolly but he's uh, he's tips he's um he's cues very um tinny at the minute okay he's um he's got a, an old tip but unfortunately our big Dave can't change it for him because he's got a three quarter yeah um Gareth, po Gareth Potts cue that he bought off me. <laughs> you done well then. Hi Ziggy, <laughs> yeah. I'm good, thank you. How are you? I think I did hear you say. Um, I think I was out. Uh, no, I was a minute ago outside, and um, Ziggy had, had said. I think asked. Yeah, there you go. Who's in the commentary? And I heard you saying it was it was you. Yeah, he thought yeah, I was Rich Saunders. I, so I think you did a really poor impersonation of an Essex accent from our previous what? commentator. Oh, what you're yeah, Chris yeah. patient. Oh, that's what I heard. It was poor though. So you you couldn't be more Essex at the minute. It's spiky gelled hair and a I'm tan. I think. Well, I am Essex. Oh, you, I know, but you you're now starting to really turn into an Essex boy. You just need a like shiny white shirt and some bleached teeth. <laughs> I didn't have the bleached teeth, but when we were on holiday, I did wear a white shirt. Did you? Wedding. Yeah, yeah. Nice short sleeve white well, shirt. Is he? What? I don't think he he's on this, is he? I don't think uh, th there may be a gap. I don't know if there is a gap actually. Oh. I don't know. That's um, that's difficult to see. We had a camera angle for that. That's um. Well, as it happens, I mean, we nearly do. We nearly do. If we if there was <laughs> if we were wondering if there's a gap between the two and the five, then uh, look, we nearly have, we a, camera nearly angle, have a camera angle, but not not quite. That's probably the first time that button's been pushed all day. Due to the unique funding of GB9, <laughs> we have two camera angles. <laughs> Oh, you didn't like that. <laughs> right, see that. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? Actually, I was going to see, because I'm on also in a minute. Oh, he's, he's getting on the computer now to call my match to get rid of me. No, you're all good. You've not been called yet. No, I have not. 7-4. Seven seven four. Four. You're 7-0. No, you're not. No, I'm lying. I'm no it's Kevin one. Rowles. It's going to be a while. Well, you might go <laughs> on to another one if another one finishes yeah. sooner, so. Well, he obviously did have a gap. Oh yeah, we, uh, we all that build up, and then we uh, started talking about Essex. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've not seen Spencer play much. I know he was at the UK Open. Have you seen? Have you seen much of him? Um, he's played. He's played a few of these. Um, or you, he played at event one. He's I know third you one. Around. I think it's his Is third. It his third one? He was a last event last year, and then. First one this year. Yeah, I think he's a bit. The results so far that I've seen, I think, have been a bit mixed bag. Mm. But he can, you know, he can play. Yeah. Um, he can drink as well. I no. didn't <laughs> know that actually. But <laughs> oh, what have we got. Oh, there's. 
Oh, we've lost an Adam. They've moved me table. Uh, just dock him a rack, he's late. <laughs> right, <laughs> well, I'll leave you with the capable hands of Ryan then. Cheers, guys. Capable-ish. Right, all by myself again then. Hold on. No, my match hasn't been called. All right then. This is looking... Oh, has he, has he travelled a bit far on this? No, he's good. Does he hold for the black heel and play the positive shot come across? He's got enough room to hold on either. Played that well. Personally, I, I'd li like to let the queue out there and come twice across if we could. Got Ross Cable on as well. Me and Ross have some good, ba good, some good battles. He doesn't like uh, he doesn't like Lionel Messi. That guy thinks he's a hacker like the rest of us. That's running. That is running. Luckily, it's really running. So he's he's got, he's got a straight shot into the middle. I don't think he played that. Or his reaction. No, just in the replay. Definitely didn't play that. Bit of take it. Oof. All right. On is even. even race to eight it's race to six now basically rattled the one rattled the one He's give up a shot on the one here and they split well what's the angle like on the one he's just going yeah, just draw it back a little bit I think only concern he's slightly hampered, just slightly hampered. No problem, no problem at all. I think he'd be disappointed if he doesn't clear these now. about enough angle to get back up to the four, I think. I think he's come six to eight inches further than he wanted to, though. Oh, pulled out the bank. Whopper, absolute whopper. He's, um, he's finding the maybe the pace of the table uh, a little, little bit hard to get used to. He's overrun a couple of times now. It's to be expected you know, with, the, with the extra lights on and the and new cloth. This is uh, a fast old table. Great shot. Lovely shot. Just needs to sneak past that seven now. See that coming. He's queued that one round a corner, I'm afraid. So, uh, a bit of a lifeline here for Terry. He might need his midget stick. No, he can reach. Just made it. Oh, he's perfect on that. Absolutely perfect. A bit worried of it for a minute. Oh, 
So the match been good. Just double check it's not me. There we go. Nicely done, Terry. Stop my match. So he'll take he'll take that bit of a little bit of a gift from Spencer. And just rattled that dead straight on the screw back. Doesn't look happy about it, but uh, I'm sure we'll get over it. So three, two to Terry. see a run out. Are either of them going to pull out a run out? Let's see. Should get a nice shot on the one here. Very nice break. Very, very nice break. Done the opposite of a commentator's curse then. I could have uh, cursed him into a run out. You never know. Let's have a, let's have a go. Take that break all day long, though. All day long. Just get control of this white ball. Tidy position on the three here. This could be a very easy run out, but it could. Very easy to make this difficult for yourself as well. Okay. Nope. On to you, Terry. <laughs> Just watch the replay. On that, that, the old, on the, the old Rassen, that with the with the very very shallow shelf, that would have a hundred percent dropped. But, um, oh well, we stopped that. Um, but with a, a slightly deeper shelves on these, slightly tighter pockets, um, stuck up. You wouldn't have seen that in the, uh, when we first had Rassens on the tour. Terry's a bit of a cueist though. Lovely cue action, very stable and solid. Oh, well, well prove me right there, Terry. Well prove me right. Where's everyone watching from? Is everyone everyone Brits on here, are they? Could have done without that angle a little bit, I reckon. We should be absolutely fine. <coughs> Might have to pause it over to the side rail now just to make sure he's uh, not hampered by the nine. Would have tried and hold that. Terry always likes to put his cue through the cue through the ball if he can. And we are four two up. So I'm, uh, I should be, I should be impartial, but um, Terry is my, he's my roommate, and he's my, uh, we travel down together, and we have done for the last, blooming now six, seven, seven, eight years now. So uh, I, ca I can't say I'm not rooting for him because I am sorry, Spencer. You're a lovely lad, but uh, so three twos challenge at the minute. Let's, have a, let's uh, see a, a whopper of a break. 
I don't know why I keep saying Whopper. One, there's the points. There's the shot. Three, he'll be happy. Didn't have the spin or the or the late. We had the the pace was good, but uh, just a little a little dab more left hand side would have would have helped him out there. But it's relatively safe. I wouldn't put it past Spencer to have a go at this plant. Wouldn't put it past him. He's a very aggressive player. Uh, from what I've seen so far, so I uh, wouldn't hold my breath that he wouldn't go for that. Wouldn't hold my breath that he'd make it either. <laughs> about it. That's gone alright. Oh, I know what Terry will try here. If he doesn't go for the bank here, I'll be shocked. I'm shocked. I'm going to have words with him about that. I've never seen him turn a bank down like that before. Not on a rasson. Not on a rasson. That ball is safe, but it's a decent opportunity to get a, a resafe here. Vantage Terry. Mr. Akio, how are you doing? Cyprian Dandu, how are you? Long time no see, both of you. That pocket is not, it's not like in power. It's not like in power, that pocket. Both of them have uh, rattled one with pace. Spencer, I'm sure we'll be all right. Seems to control the pace of this really. He might be very happy that he carries on running here. He thought that was going to stop a lot earlier. Not actually in that bad shape. To screw across the face of the six ball. Oh no, didn't see the three. Excuse me. Excuse me. I thought he was on the four ball. As he left and a gap. jump. Uh, sorry, I haven't seen some of your comments. I'm looking on the... Daniel Nichols, I used to practice with Terry. He lives 10 minutes from me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 
You ask Terry if he likes the middles on a rasin. He'll tell you he loves them. Not after that shot, he won't. Oof, he's caught both. Both knuckles went right across the face. Whereabouts are you from then, Daniel? I know Bristol. I assume Bristol. Whereabouts? I didn't see that coming. Let me say. South Mead. In the hospital. Got there. Is he going to line up the bank? Was quite an easy safe here with the white behind the nine. <laughs> I can't believe Terry didn't take the bank either. No, absolutely not. He's uh, he absolutely licks them in most of the time, um, especially on his home on his home table. I got distracted then. Just checking. My phone is dying, so I need to check if my game is being called. convincing performance but he's uh, he's putting the nine balls so he'll be happy with that still shocked he didn't go for that bank still shocked we'll move on though we'll move on Just taking a break. I'm going to hazard a guess, and that was Spencer. So we'll be back in a minute.
if you're just tuning in, um, we just had a player break. The score is actually five two. I think Spencer's just taken a little comfort break and uh, trying to sort himself out. Hasn't made. Hasn't made. Oh, I got the volume on my phone. So he'd uh, the, the best result. The best result. If you if you're losing a match, you take your break. The best result you can hope for here is come back, break and run. That's what he's after. That's what he wants. It's a big confidence booster. And uh, hoping and praying he gets a shot at the one after the break, I bet you. As we all would, I'm sure. My match. I'm waiting for the winner of Daniel Jones and Kevin Rouse to finish. That's 6 1 at the moment. So. Couple of the couple of the score lines for you. Um, Luke Hart's three two up against Ryan Wissett. Chal these are all challenge round one. So Hine two, Andy Lester two. Mark England is six two up against Stu Williams. GJ one all with Hassan. Uh, Kevin May seven two up against Laszlo. Oh, I'm not going to be oh Kinger. King is seven one up against Ali. That's uh, that's going well. Right. He hasn't got the shot he wanted, but he's uh, might be in an attacking mood here. Oh, I think he's just glanced it. Oh, good shot, good shot. As long as he's not left the edge. There's the slightest of touches on that. That's a great shot. Use that spin to carry on the white ball. I expect him to come two rails here and send the three back down, back down table. That's the shot I like in that side. More, more opportunity to leave the three over the. Ooh, he missed it. Well, if you uh, if you want your confidence boost, Spencer, here's your chance. Nothing's near anything else. Everything goes. Main shot really is uh, is three to four. From three to four, as long as he's good shape on the four, it should be uh, should be plain sailing. Ryan, can you please? Oh, God, I didn't see any of these comments. There we are. Um, the, be <laughs> the best thing after time out is 500 miles. Was that the song, is it, David? As I would walk 500 miles. Ziggy GB, can you have me on Facebook? Uh, well, we're probably already friends. Right, what's he got out here? Overrun it a bit. He has overrun it a bit. But with the five ball on the pocket. Just got to put that white ball in space. Just got to put it in space. Ross, go on, go on, lad. <laughs> Crew into the nine that way. The four does pass the eight. He does pass the eight to the corner as well, but he's, he's going with the middle. Fancies that. Lovely job. He just wants to bring, just wants to bring the ball back an inch from the five ball, and uh, shouldn't have many issues to deal with it. Yeah, he's still right. That's good. That's the issue. There's the issue. He brings the ball back an inch. He's he's not having to elevate the cue. As soon as you elevate the cue, the the 
level of difficulty just goes up just that just that little bit which can uh, catch one of those knuckles and uh, leave you in the situation he's in now he's not got hold of that is he <laughs> depending on the depending on how straight this is it could potentially force it with a bit of side onto the rail if he's dead straight, I don't think he's dead straight. We'll have to screw it back to the eight. We got all of that one. That was better. As I say, hell of a cue action. We have an inch. Obviously, snooker background, Terry. Oh, I thought he was just going to hold that. I wouldn't expect him to miss this uh, miss this nine. Just to take him four frames clear. Oh yes. Oh Terry. Um, and he's conceded the frame on that. It was tricky. He was right tight on the rail. Good distance between the nine ball and the pocket it can happen. He'll brush that off, though. He'll brush that off. <laughs> My match still not called, and phone battery 4%. So if my match does get called, I'm in trouble. <laughs> right next to me. Ah, there we go. Oh, that works a lot better. Jamie Clark, so is the one gonna go? Is he gonna leave, is he gonna leave a shot on the one? He has dry break. Bit of a congested table. Look how fast the table's playing. Oops, uh, don't think this rack's a, a foregone conclusion. clearance here. Very tricky. Also, if I think the two ball is the four ball, you have to forgive me. I'm incredibly, incredibly colour blind. So the two and the four, and believe it or not, the six and the seven do look the same to me on the screen. <laughs> um, went to school, Ross went to school with Terry. Robert Gee, lovely lad, isn't he? Good lad. Uh, he's br his brother as well, just, just finished... Um, Contract with Bristol Bears Premier League Rugby Club. They're both uh, both big lads. He's decided to play safe. I think he's got it. He has. He's got it. He'll be going at the pot if it's, uh, if it's available here. It, but again, with that uh, that three ball, it's trapped. But there's uh, obviously the clamp is there, the combo is there. Got to get on it. Uh, that's not going to be any good. Ooh, it's, uh, the spins helped him there. The spins helped him. Staying on the three is going to be tricky here, though. Waiting for still six one, so at time still. Oh, he's hung it. He's hung it. As I was saying as well, the uh, the, the pot pot in it wasn't the problem. It was uh, getting any kind of shape on the three ball. 
Be interesting to see what Terry decides to do here as we attacks it. We'll play safe. Caution B. Sneaks past the eight. He's got a good shot. Oh, lucky. <laughs> he's done those tattoos. Yeah, he's uh, his dad's a. Uh, if you think Terry's a big lad, did you meet his dad? And, um, they're, a they're, a, they're a family of very big men, very big mum, and the, the queen of the family, she's a, she's a feeder. <laughs> lovely, lovely family, you're right. Good tattoo artist too, fantastic tattoo artist. I've got one from when I was 16, but we're not going to talk about that. <laughs> He's left this. I think he's left it. Oh, it's a lovely shot. But he wishes that cue ball was a, c a couple of feet closer to the shot, though. It's Terry uh, moving the ball ball where he wanted it. Lovely. It's perfect now. The only danger is here is if uh, the four ball goes in as well, not leaving himself any shape on the five. Oh, he's played that well. An ideal scenario here. He wants to he wants to be landing on that nine, I think, unless he goes short side of it. Uh, oh, he went. Mm, don't think he's. Uh, He's got a good shot at this. Could come round first. Yeah, he covered it. Be leaving anything after this. Be doing his, probably doing his best to get the, the white ball up near the top red. Oh, ideally, he can get yeah, he's a blocker. What do I know? Say a free bank. Terry, that's two. That's three banks. That's three banks. Two banks you've missed on a rasson. You don't miss them when we play. All I hear is pockets being clattered. Oh, he's cued that beautifully. He's a bit luckier now, though. Ooh, well, you're on it. You're definitely on it. Reminds me, going back a few years, uh, Shane O'Hara played an absolute worldy full length table, clipped off a ball, put at the nine, right in the back of the pocket, uh, really deep in the tournament on the TV table. Shane O'Hara came to, we brought him up for the first event and he uh, ended up winning, winning, winning the whole main event. It was a pretty, uh, pretty decent effort that was. Hell of a player, moved to Ireland again now. He's got it moving at least. You can see some rails being utilised here. Scenario, probably one of the worst places it could have landed, to be fair. Move your eyes up the bank again. If you don't, it's the thumb snicker. Stop doing the thing I don't suggest. <laughs> that, was a, that was a good save.
not going to predict what he does. I'm just going to watch it. Come at it. Scratch. There it goes. All right, nine ball over the pocket. Anywhere, middle of the table, down. We got a sitter. That will do nicely. So, looking like 6 3 to Terry. Lovely job. Both players may be just. Just struggling with the extra extra pace of the table. Totally different. The table is a bit bit higher than the outside tables too. Um, just throws everything off a little bit. Um, and it's uh, obviously you're right in the middle of the room, and there's uh, a lot more people with eyes on you. So you know these things do happen. Right. My match is still six one. What are they doing? Kevin Rowles and Daniel Jones. You've been six one now for about twenty minutes. Kevin, lovely, lovely man. Not a fast pool player. <laughs> um oh, just in, in case you're interested. Oh, made the one ball. Eight's gonna Is he gonna make the points? I don't think he has. He only made two points. So obviously it, those who don't know, G B nine. Uh, nine on the spot, and you have to make three points, uh, which is one point is a, a ball past the uh, past the rail, uh, past the uh, bolt line, um, and one and a half points for a potted ball. So he's only made one point there. I think Terry would be happy with that. He's got a, a very good potential for a lockup save here. I wanted to try and get back into it, but maybe not not the percentage shot there. <coughs> right, you control this, you control this, they're all there for him. All there for him. These top and bottom rails on the on the rest are pretty lively, so we don't want to see any uh, extra pace being put into the cube. Well, that's lovely. Absolutely into perfect that is. do here now just you can decide which side of the eight he wants to be and make sure he's there just a slight angle the wrong way but it'll be fine that was yeah that was the thing either but I think either side either side of the eight you're fine, just off straight or straight, and you had this potential. Um, just going to bear down and uh, slot this in there. Ah, nothing but net. Lovely. Well taken. All right, it's still 6 1. Daniel Jones and Kevin Rouse. Are you uh, taking your breaks back to back? What are you doing? Not many comments on there, is it? This make sure you share this, guys. You know, we uh, at one point we were getting, uh, I think we were getting upwards of two hundred viewers on, or I think three hundred viewers on the on some of our some of the streams. So let's uh, share the love. We've got thirty-seven on at the minute. Thirty-seven poor people having to listen to me. So that puts Terry on the hill. 
he, he'll be happy with the win, but he'll be. Uh, I don't. I don't think he'll. I don't think he'll be happy with uh, your overall performance. He's not. I don't think he's felt fully comfortable. That pocket's mean to these boys. That top left pocket has been uh, pretty tight. <laughs> poor us, the lost, the lost 38. You are, you, you, you poor buggers, you poor buggers. Although, you know, all respect to Chris Patient, but does anyone ever really understand what he's saying? Apples and pears and all that, all that. Oh, where's he going here? Where's he going here? It was a, an eclectic choice of shot. Quite hard to call what uh, what Spencer's going to do. He's uh, he's got a uh, he's got his own individual style, didn't he? I've seen him. Uh, I've seen him having a, a knock the other night, and he when, when he's flowing, he uh, he's a very very good player. He can pot him off a lampshade. He's going to have to just wait up. I think he's got the edge. He might just have the edge of this two ball. Don't hold me to it though. Right. Don't tell me that match is still 6-1. It is. Kevin Rowles and Daniel James. It's still 6-1. I think that's now 25 minutes. <laughs> What's going on, boys? In case you didn't know, that's the match I'm waiting to finish so I can get on. Assuming the three passes. I don't have a camera angle to show you, I'm afraid. It does pass. I think he's going to want to try and dig in. He's coming between the four and the five. Uh, I don't think he's going to be above the five. I think he judged the pace well here as well. Getting above it was going to be optimistic, but he's got a, a half decent shot on it. Oh, hello. Oh, is it? Oh. My match hasn't been called, has it? I'll be back. love you or leave you because I think I'm actually supposed to be playing but I think timed it well I think Terry's got these sorted um, it's been a f it's been fun anyway and uh, I might get back on a bit later on so good luck with the rest of the match boys I don't think there's a lot of rest of the match to go but um, yeah over out see you